hello boys and girls and the wider West House community. So Miss Green today I am going to read a bit of an old classic. Now this is suitable for people of all ages I think but really starting from year three-ish. So I'm going to be reading from Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes. I'm sure you've heard it before. So I will start with Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack's mother said, We're stony break. Go out and find some wealthy bloke who'll buy our care. Just say she said, and worth at least a hundred pound. But don't you dare to let him know that she's as old as billy -o. Jack led the brown cow away and came back later in the day and said, Well, Mumsy dear, guess what? Your little clever boy has got. I got, oh, I really don't know how, a super trading for our cow. The mother said, You, you little creep. I bet you've sold her much too cheap. When Jack oh, produced one lousy bean, his startled mother turning green, leaped up high in the air and cried, I'm absolutely stupefied. You crazy boy, do you mean you've sold our daisy for a bean? Oh. She snatched the bean. She yelled, you chap! and flung it on the rubbish dump. Oh. Shh! By 10pm or thereabout, the little bean began to sprout. By morning, it had grown so tall, you couldn't see the top at all. Young Jack cried. Mum, admit it now. It's better than a rotten cow. The mother said, You lunatic! Where are the beans that I can pick? There's not one bean, it's, it's as bare as bare. No, no, cried Jack. Oh, look up there. Oh, oh, oh. Look very high and you'll behold Every single leaf is solid gold. Whew. By gollikins, the boy was right. Now glistening in the morning light, the mother actually perceives a mass of lovely golden leaves. She yells out loud, uh, my sainted souls, I'll sell the mini, I'll buy a rolls. Don't stand and gape, you little clot. Get up there quick and grab the lot. Jack was nimble, Jack was keen. He scrambled up the mighty bean. Up and up he went without a stop. But just as he was near the top, a ghastly, frightening thing occurred. Not far above his head he would. A deep voice, a rumbling thing, that made the very heavens ring. It shouted out loud. Fee, far, foe, fam, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Jack was frightened. Jack was quick. And down he climbed in half a tick. His mother hissed. 
You, I think you're going round the twist. He smelled me out. I swear it, Mum. He, he said he smelled an Englishman. The mother said, And well he might. I've told you every single night to take a bath because you smell. But would you do it? Well, would you? Well, you even make your mother shrink because of your oof, unholy stink. Jack answered, Well, if you're so clean, why don't you climb the crazy bean? The mother cried, By God, I will. There's laugh within the old dog still. She hitched her skirt above her knee and disappeared right up the tree. Now, would the giant smell his mum? Jack listened for the fee-fo-fum. He gazed aloft. He wondered when the dreaded words would come. And then, from somewhere high above the ground, there came a frightful crunching sound. He heard the giant mutter twice. Mm, mm, mm. But gosh, that tasted very nice. Although, that was said in grumpy tones. Mm, mm, I wish there weren't so many bones. Mm, by Christopher, <laughs> Jack cried. <laughs> by gum, uh, the giant's eaten up my mum. He smelled her out. She's in his belly. I had a hunch that she was smelling. <sighs> Jack stood there gazing longingly up upon the huge and golden tree. He murmured softly, Golly gosh, I guess I'm going to have to take a wash. If I'm going to climb this tree, without the giant smelling me. In fact, a bath's my only hope. Mm. He rushed indoors and grabbed the soap. He scrubbed his body everywhere. He even washed and rinsed his hair. He did his teeth, he blew his nose and went out smelling like a rose. Once more, he climbed the mighty bean the giant sat there, gross, obscene, muttering through his vicious teeth, while Jack <laughs> sat tensely just beneath, muttering loud, Fee! Far! Fo! Fum! Right there! What's going on? I can't smell anyone! <laughs> Jack waited till the giant slept. Then out along the boughs he crept and gathered so much gold, I swear, he was an instant millionaire. A bath, he said, does seem to pay. I'm going to have one every day.